Hello everyone. The goal for uh, this problem is to analyze this voltage connection safety factor when we apply a um, 15, 16,000 newton loads at the end of the plate as shown here. One of the benefits of this simulation is that the actual bolt and nut are not required to be modeled. So we just need to input a few parameters and SOLIDWORKS is going to do the modeling for us. So let's take a look at the... So this is a, a simple assembly that I created for the simulation. So if you notice, if I go to mate, if I remove, if I suppress this mate, you can see that the plate can go up and down. So let's go back to the original state. So from here we can go to simulation and let's create a new study. We can um, call this uh, Volta Connection Study. And let's hit OK. So the first thing we have to do is let's apply a material. According to the problem, this is um, alloy steel. We can just apply and close. Under connection, we can just right click and this is where the bolt parameters are going to be located. So we can click on bolt. In here, um, so there are a few uh, connector types. So we have the regular bolt, we have the um, countersink with knot, we also have the standard counter bore and a couple more, we have the foundation bolt. For now, we're, doing, we're going to do the regular bolt. So the um, we're going to select the first box and this is where the bolt is going to go. So we're just going to select the, um, the edge um, to define the bolt head. And um, for the nut, just click on the other box and let's select the edge at the back where the nut is going to be placed. Uh, and you, if you notice, um, SOLIDWORKS um, automatically cal calculates the shunk diameter and the ball head. Um, by default, the, um, the, the program multiplies the shunk diameter by a factor of 1.5 to obtain the head, of the head diameter. So you can also change this if you prefer, but that's the default value. Um, Let's continue. So under connection type, we're going to select distributed uh, connection. This connection uh, allows the faces attached to the um, to the ball connectors to the form, which is going to give us a more realistic representation of a connector's uh, behavior. Under material, it, uh, automatically we have selected alloy steel, but if you have a custom material, you can define your own material properties by selecting this um, custom material. And uh, all you have to do is set the units, the young modulus, the poison ratio, and the um, thermal exp expansion uh, coefficient. For now, we're just gonna go with the alloy steel standard material. Under strength data, uh, select the uh, this first option, known tensile stress area, only if the uh, if you know that area. Otherwise, select the um, calculated tensile stress area to um, to let the program calculate that area for you. So we're going to uh, for this problem. So we're going to select the strength data check mark, and we're going to. Um, to input here the threads per millimeter. So this is a value that, that that comes with the specifications of the bolts. For this one here, we're just gonna put two. Uh, the bolt strength. Uh, there are three parameters to estimate the bolt failure. One is the yield strength, ultimate strength, and the last one is the proofed strength, which is the 90% of the yield strength. So for this problem, we're just gonna go with the yield strength um, of a 620 megapascal. 
um, but you can apply um, a value that is appropriate for your application. The safety factor, this is a desired safety factor that we want to achieve for this, for this uh, problem. So you can enter any number, three, four, but for this problem, we're going to use um, two. And, um, and this is pretty much it. We are not gonna touch the advanced options. Um, that's more um, advanced simulation for nonlinear problems. Um, so if you notice, we have four bolts. So we have to repeat the same steps for each bolt. Uh, we can pin uh, these settings so, so we can reuse the, the same information that I just did here. And all we have to select is the edge of the um, each individual bolt and nut. So after you select the pin, you can hit OK. And you notice all uh, this now is blank. For us to select the next bolt but if you scroll down you see that the uh, threads per inch is there and the um and the bolt all, all the information is is in there so we just need to select the edge so i'm gonna stop stop the video here and um once i do all the um the bolts i'll be back okay so after you um apply the information to all the bolts, we can hit OK. If you notice, the, all the bolts and nuts were modeled by SOLIDWORKS. Uh, the next thing is, let's apply um, a fixed geometry to this assembly. We're going to select the back face of the assembly so it doesn't rotate. Let's hit OK. Next, we can apply a local interaction. This is going to detect the interaction in the in the assembly. So we can automatically find local interactions. SolidWorks is going to do that for us. And we're going to select both plates and then find local interaction. And then hit OK. And we're going to select Yes. So you can see uh, under connections, the local interaction is right here. Um, now we're going to apply a, a force at the end of the, at the end of the plate. So we're going to select the, this face right here. If you notice, I created a um, split line here only for the sole purpose to apply that force, otherwise um, we had to use a different method. Okay. So, uh, and right here we can uh, apply a 16,000 newtons force and the direction of, of the force is correct. Now let's hit okay. Let's create a mesh. We can refine this a little bit. Let's hit OK. OK, so after you um, create the mesh, we are ready to run the simulation. So I'm going to run the simulation and it's going to take a few minutes. So I'll be right back as soon as it finishes. Let's run it. The uh, simulation has been completed. We can now right click on the result and let's select define pin bolt um, check plot. We can hit OK. So looking at this um, at this table, um, this is telling us that the four bolts that we model that we simulated, they all need attention. And this is because if you highlight the first one, um, you'll notice that the um, the safety factor is 1.552. And if you recall, we 
uh, we specify a desired safety factor of two. So that's the reason uh, these bolts need attention. Uh, so this specific one is 1.5. Let's go to the next one. This is 0 0.98, 1.51, and 0 0.97. So there, there is a, there is more information to this bolt. So let's click on details. So on this table, we uh, we're going to select bolts because that's the one that we uh, that's that's the type of connector that we selected. And this table. Um, this table uh, is going to give us the uh, the shear force uh, resultant for each one. So let me put this table to the side. And this is for bolt number one. And then we have bolt number two, three, and four. So the resultant shear force for bolt number one is around 14,000. Let's go to bolt number two. This one here is around... 20,000, 21,000. Bolt number three, again, is around almost um, 14,000. And again, bolt number four is around 21,000. Um, so this is telling us that bolt number two and four are the, um, are the critical bolts because they have the largest shear force. So now let's take a look at the... Um, at the, the theoretical calculation to confirm and validate the simulation. So let's look at this um, calculation performed on this bolt connection. Um, so the critical fasteners are the ones for which the vector sum of the vertical and torsional shear stresses is the greatest. So looking at this one here, um, we can see that bolts A and B have um, downward torsional and vertical uh, shear components. So this, these components add up, making a um, both right fasteners the critical bolts. So if we keep looking at the calculation, so they went through um, these formulas and came out to this conclusion here, this solution here. So as we expected, bolt A and B in our case are two and four. Uh, let me move this table here, over here. So bolts A and B in our case, two and four, they, uh, they are the critical bolts because they carry the largest, the largest load of uh, 21,000 newtons. For bolts C and D, in our case, those bolts are one and three. They carry around 14,000 uh, newtons. And these two numbers are pretty close to each other. Um, so um, if you look here, so this is 21,000 and we obtain on the simulation 21,500. And for bolts C and D, 14.8, uh, we obtain almost 14,000. So these numbers are pretty close. So we can confirm that the um, simulation values um, have a pretty small uh, percentage error compared to the theoretical values. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.